What is good? Today we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite watches. It is the Omega Seamaster Professional. Uh, it comes in this nice box, wood grain light, shiny. Inside the box, you find the watch. Omega Seamaster Professional on the blue rubber strap. This watch is gorgeous. And just to remind you, this is a uh, user's review. Uh, I'm not an authorized dealer or a reseller. So this is just based on my experience uh, with the watch and um, my take on it. This is the latest update to the Omega C Master 300 meter watch. It is a gorgeous watch as you can see the number of finishes on the uh, on the case, you have high polish on the upper outer side of the case. On the side, it is brush finish as well as the uh, bezel. The um, crown, nicely polished with the horseshoe. On the dial you have laser etched waves. Before it used to be, uh, on the previous model, it used to be painted. Um, as well as the numbers on the uh, bezel. Here you have coal enamel uh, numbers. Then the bezel is ceramic. I also like the rubber strap, pretty versatile. Um, I have this. I've had this watch for about two weeks now. I've been wearing it every day for the last two weeks, and pretty much did a lot of stuff around the house. Um, as you can see, it looks flawless, no scratches. Unlike my um, Rolexes with the metal bracelets. Those are a magnet to scratches. I have to, uh, whenever I wear those watch, those watches, I have to be real cautious not to get a scratch or be kind of aware that I'm wearing it. With this, I can just wear it and uh, just kind of ignore the fact that um, it could be scratched because I'm not too concerned with it, with the rubber strap. So this watch also features a uh, in-house movement, just like the Rolex for the first time. Omega built this movement themselves. It's the Omega Master 8800 movement. With the, uh, for the first time, uh, they introduced a display case back for this model. All previous models had a uh, solid stainless steel back. This is really nice to look at. As you can see in these inside the, the movement, all of the um, brushings and the design, it is pretty nice. It's like a piece of art. This watch is 42 millimeter in diameter. From uh, low to low is about 50. Uh, thickness is, uh, I would say 13 and a half. It's got the dome crystal anti um, scratch crystal. And it's also the same in the back. It's also anti-scratch with the um, anti-reflective um, coating. From certain angles, like here, you can see that there's no reflection of anything. It looks like there's no crystal on top of the watch. As far as the performance go with this watch, it is very good. I'm satisfied with it. 
For the last two weeks, I've noticed that this watch put on about two seconds per day. Um, it runs well. It's got the 55 hour preserve, power reserve, which I like because um, on the Rolexes sometimes when it's not fully wound uh, and you leave it still for about a day then it just it just died but this watch I've actually left it for over a day and it was still running so that's good but uh, overall I like this watch very much I definitely would recommend anyone who's looking into it to get, get one um, right now it's going for about $4,900 um, you know on the secondary market you can probably get a brand new one for a thousand less maybe around $3,900 um, but it's definitely it's not gonna hold its value like the Rolexes if you're looking to resell it I think it's gonna be harder to resell than the Rolex sports model but um, for the price it's definitely worth buying it's definitely worth having one. It just runs as good as I would say a Submariner because I do have a Submariner and um, you know, check out my, uh, my other video uh, where I did a review on the uh, pre-owned two-tone sub. All right, so good luck with uh, everything and um, catch you next time.